let's learn how to create a contact us page like this one so instead of having our email address on this page let's just have a contact form like this the reason why is because if you display your email address on the page here there is a chance that an email spammer may scrap that email and start to spam you but with a contact form you are safe from that so let's go ahead and do that first let's create a page called contact us and let's just save it now this is where we want to display the contact form so if you go down here you will see this item here called pirate forms this is the plugin that we installed together with the Zerif Lite team. Select settings. And this is where we will configure our contact form. What we need to do first is to attach this short code, copy it, and bring it back to our contact us page here. And paste it over here or what is a short code a short code is essentially like a code like this or a tag or a placeholder you might call it where it enables a functionality from a certain plugin to appear on different areas on your wordpress website it could appear on a page it could appear on a post on a widget and etc it essentially offers a very convenient way to you for you to enable certain functions of your plugins on different areas on your website. That's all to it. So what we need to do next is just save and publish this page. Let's go and view it. There. So this is a default form created by Pirate Form. So if you want to change this form format or form fields, you just have to go back, go to Parrot Forms under Settings, and here are the options. You could have different labels for your fields. You could change the, the content of the email that you will receive alert messages this is where this form will show the alert messages whenever there's an error while your user fill in the form and of, of course you could also have an SMTP option this is a bit too technical for this course so I'm just going to ignore this for now. Remember that when you're hosting your WordPress website with a web hosting provider, a lot of times they will not allow you to send email messages from the website to a free email account like Gmail, Yahoo or Hotmail. So you're most recommended to use the actual email address of your website's domain name say for example if i'm hosting this website on card hq i will definitely have to use a valid email address such as this an email address that has the same domain name as my website which is at cardhq.co let's do the same for both fields here and if you go down you could redirect the user to a specific page if you want to meaning that once they have filled in the form they will be redirected to a thank you page to a this um a page to show a coupon a discount or whatever you want it to be once you're done click on save changes